Logan is saying this is actually one of the top news in like fucking like world history is that uh, Logan did post and did humiliate a dead guy. Did he do a forgive apology? Yes, he did. He didn't have to. He also, he didn't have to take the YouTube video down. He volunteered me. So I give him some credit for that. But I'm also with some of the other YouTube stars. He did an idiot situation. And yes, I am a Jake Pauler. I'm not, I liked Logan. He was okay. But I think that what ruined... I wouldn't say their career's over. Because I'm with some YouTubers. They do have specialism and, you know, shit like that. And the Paul Brothers won't go down. They they really won't. Will this affect them? No. I don't think this will affect them at all. But, now, like other YouTubers saying, Oh, I would do the same thing if I was Logan Paul. Anything for views. Logan Paul is to hit the limit as much as he can without being caught. Because he is popular YouTube star. He's trying to get views. He's trying to make money, you know, make a living kind of deal. But I think that was a little too far. There was multiple proof that uh, that even the editor said that they talked about it multiple times. He probably should have not posted the video. I've seen, heard things. I haven't watched the video myself because I really don't want to. I've seen what, like, Cabo and, you know, those type of people fucking said. Turner and, you know, all them motherfuckers. Now, what he said was just, that was just him being stupid. But, other than that, I think that Logan Paul did not have to take down the video. He volunteered to take him. I don't know how many times I have to say that, but that is the God honest truth. YouTube did not take it down. Because YouTube's just, YouTube's all about the number one top trending and, you know, all that. They're all about making money. So if Logan's getting views, they're also getting paid for views for doing YouTube. So yeah, they're not going to take that down. It's them making money keeping that shit up. I've always thought if they kept the shit up, that'd be them losing money. But no, that's not how that shit works. They actually make money for more people clicking on ads and, you know, all that other shit. So, basically, yeah, Logan has got signed by multiple companies, but I think what he did was wrong. And I'm with some of the other YouTubers. You don't want to forgive him yet until he's, like, maybe made a better improvement. But he's, he's, um, he can be a nice guy. He's a very good actor. I'll give him that. Now, if he was acting in the video saying apologies, I have no idea. But, uh, he's a very good actor, and... He's good at what he does, but like you said, he's trying to hit the limit, but just not hit it too far. And I think that one really <whistles> hit it a little too far or whatever, so you guys can, I don't, I don't know what to say, but I'm disappointed because I, I didn't look up to them. I just, they made good content. Well, not that, they made good videos is what I meant to say. And it's stupid, and that's what makes it funny for half of us. Like, our kids, yeah, they're kids fans, and there's some stupid guy saying, oh, I'd do the same thing if I was Logan Paul to get on his video, and, you know, a whole bunch of other bullshit. But, yo, it's Maverick Life, though, dude. So that's 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 what they do, is try to hit the limit. But uh, I think that's where the mistake has begun. <sighs> so, uh... Comment if you're still a Logan Pauler or Jake Pauler, or if you just don't care for neither of them. Let's try to get this around the world because people need to know the truth about them. It's just, it's ridiculous. But uh, just be surprised if uh, you guys don't get down. And he always plugs and everything, dude. Now making a Santa video was actually that was just that was just stupid, but. I hit Santa Claus twice, like, how can, how can he even be Disney, or how can he even get contracts with doing that crap? It's ridiculous, but, uh, peace.